Hi, Martin here. In this video I will show you how you can use water soluble ink with watercolor and how this affects. Normally I use these uh, waterproof ink because in combination with the watercolor. So these are uh, waterproof inks. And then accidentally I bought this huge 500, so half a liter ink. And it was um, it was quite uh, cheap, so not so expensive. So I thought this could be uh, water soluble. So I am I wrote this down for my information, so that I don't uh, accidentally uh, use it for projects where I need waterproof ink. But I want to try. Uh, to work with watercolor with this water soluble ink, uh, with uh, tip pens, with a brush and paint a, a sketch, an ink drawing uh, with this ink. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, let's uh, take a sheet of paper. In this mark there is uh, this uh, water soluble ink and for comparison here I have the water proof ink. So let's start and let's draw a small line work. With some darker shadows here. So this is just a sketch, a little test for you, and then I will draw a, a small picture. And uh, now I will, for this test, I will use uh, clear water, and then afterwards uh, we take a look how the watercolor reacts then with this soluble ink. And now the waterproof ink I usually use with my drawings. Zoom. That's it here. This works on this. So this is the proof P for waterproof ink. <coughs> so then let's do some of these platters. And we do this as well with the water soluble ink. Here as well. Let's say this should be a tree. Maybe there is a good solution, a good workflow, how I can use this ink with water, with watercolor. Okay, now we have to wait till this is uh, dry. So, okay, I hope it's dry now. Yeah, I think so. It's okay. Okay. Let's test this. Um, maybe I need fresh water. So the gray water is maybe not so useful for this test. Okay, now we have clear fresh water. And let's start with the waterproof ink. Yeah, you see? Okay, this was not dry enough, but you see, waterproof. And now we take, and here, you see, it's not waterproof, but of course, we can use it for some special effects. Uh, 
as well as here for the shadows but of course you should know which ink you are using and of course now I will do a drawing with this water soluble ink yeah and of course now I will use it and I will do a drawing with this water soluble ink this is uh, I need another a more an uh, acrylic paper let's take this one that's an arches I think 300 gram or off and here we will do our drawing with an with my tip pen where is it here is it we need first and uh, by the way i will do uh, other video about the splashes and the sparkles uh, and how i do it uh, the first thing is uh, you need a very flexible nib this is a very flexible one but this is another video and i just use this effect here for a tree let's have some more shadows here under the above the stroke okay and now we we speed it up a little bit finish the line work I will add some shadows so of course these black shadows will mix up then with the uh, watercolor here I don't want too much darkness but here it's okay as well as here and this this tower and under the Trees, and let's do some sparkles there so okay and in a second we will start with the watercolor this part is dry so we'll start here and let's here do this and i'm very excited how this will work out because i'm doing it honestly the first time so the first time that i use watercolor with these um, soluble ink uh, the ink I will of course after we finished uh, the part with the watercolor we can do add some black shadows to have then the, back the contrast because we of course we will lose the contrast now okay fresh water please so excited okay hmm. let's start with a thicker thicker brush here and make some water and in this case I only I start here with the tree and so I only need yellow because when this mix up with black you also not only with blue also with black you get an kind of a green okay 
Now let's start. Let's start here so that we also have some lighter parts. And then immediately when we go down there the color mix with the black. Let's go in it. Oop. And I will work with some tissue so that you don't get a, a gray soup. Okay. Very careful, so not that all everything turns gray. Here I add some some yellow as well, and here we have much black, so this will be the shadow side, and therefore we take. Um, some sepia red brown tone, sepia or umbra, sienna. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Let's start here. So don't touch the black parts and then uh, here. And now it comes to this part here, yeah. So what we expected. And on the other side as well. And here the shadows. The red sign on the left side here. And here I want more drama. This. So for now it's just quite nice. So So here I can lift up the, the color and now I think I will wait till this is dry and let's do the tower now, a dark tower with no idea who is living there, let's see, and with black of course, okay. Much more water. Oh, sorry. Here's the power. Yeah, that works quite nice. So, I think my idea is that I will do a bigger drawing and a larger one with a cityscape with this auto soluble ink because what you get here is a very special mood because of all these dirty colors so no shiny no vibrant parts quite dark Let's lift up a little bit so that we have this darker left side. Okay. And then we need the 
the tree so back to our yellow maybe a little bit of orange here's the orange part so um, here we go uh, I wait I don't want to I don't want to mix up this so I wait a little bit longer that the color is is, is going to so is dry and then so here I go is this tree and this mixing up getting some uh, olive some green as well here again so and here down Here we have the tar, also the blue. And then we have left the windows. So here. There is not that much of ink, so they will stay blue and not mix up that heavy. Okay. And then also a little bit of greenish floor or ground. So this is the ground control to Major Tom. Uh, yeah. And now one thing is miss missing. So guess what? Um, contrasts. Because we lose the contrast here. So we can wait until it's dry and then add the shadows again. But then we stop the painting, so we have black, uh, deep black, or I do it with watercolor. Uh, I see, I forgot the rooftop things here. And it's up to you if you uh, think these uh, white highlights, highlights are nice or not. So this is just up to you. And I think I will I will take the because we worked with the soluble ink, so I take it and add some dark shadows. Back into the drawing. And also a little bit of gradient. Ah, okay, it's okay. very dark. Maybe I should use watercolor for the darker parts. And as well, you can't lift it up that easy. Okay, and here I will use watercolor instead of the this ink. Some indigo, indigo and black. Okay, yep. Okay, this for now, and maybe you like it or not, or use waterproof ink or water. I will, of course, use waterproof ink for the the 
the most uh, drawings, but maybe I give them a try for a larger uh, format. And yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next uh, videos. Bye. Okay, here are some some details.